Effect of incorrect vertical angulation on a dental radiograph. Lab exercise number seven by Yaline Buccella and Danusa Vilela. Special guest stars, normal angulation, elongation, and foreshortening. A special cameo appearances by Becky Kurz and Emily's Loudmouth. Okay, so for our project, what we what we did was we set this spread up with the films, and this category here is with normal angulation, taking for using for bisecting and parallel. This one we added 20 degrees to the angulations. This one we added 30 degrees. And those would be a positive angulation, which means the PID was tilted down towards the floor. And this was negative 20 and this is negative 30, which means the PID was slightly tilted up towards the ceiling, away from the floor, as in a vertical. So what we did for bisecting was we put the film and we placed it in the anterior section of the snap array. And what you do is you place it in the patient's mouth as if to take an anterior film like that. And he bites down, and we wrapped a rubber band around to the back to make it a little bit more vert, more um, tilted up, so we could get the right um, angulation. So for paralleling, what we did was we took an anterior ren with an anterior bite block, and we placed it in the patient's mouth. We did, we lined it up with the ring, and we did a normal angulation to acquire the periapical film as close to normal as possible. Then what we did was, in order to achieve elongation, we had a negative 20 degrees and a negative 30 degrees angulation to the wrist. <coughs> and then in order to achieve foreshortening, we had a positive 20 and a positive 30 angulation to the wrist. And that was it. Next, we're going to have a little skit played by our characters for shortening. Elongation. Normal angulation. Yay! I'm normal. Oh. I'm regular. <laughs> Hi, what a lovely day. No, it's not. Why? Why are you crying? Because I'm too short and I hate it. So what can I do to be more like you? Well, this is elongation. If you want to be like me, you just have to increase your vertical angulation. But what about me? What do I do? Well, Mr. Foreshortening, you have to decrease your vertical angulation and you'll be just like me. We'll be just like you? Perfect and happy. Okay. Okay. So what can I do to be more like you? Well, this is elongation. If you want to be like me, you just have to increase your vertical angulation. But what about me? What do I do? Well, Mr. Foreshortening, you have to decrease your vertical angulation and you'll be just like me. We'll be just like you? Perfect and happy. Okay. Okay. So here is our results. Here is the correct angulation used for the bisecting technique. And here is the correct angulation used for the paralleling technique. Here we have 20 and 30 degrees too steep for the bisecting technique. This is neg this is plus 20 and this is plus 30. And this is 20 and 30 degrees too steep for the paralleling technique. This is plus 20 and this is plus 30. This resulted in foreshortening of our images. Here we have 20 and 30 degrees too little angulation. This is negative 20 and this is negative 30 for the bisecting. 
and this is negative 20 and negative 30 for the parallel line. This resulted in an elongated image. When we had too little angulation, as in negative 20 or negative 30, we had elongation. This is elongation. You can see it. Okay. Elongation, for example, with our teeth characters, she would be elongation. Notice how all of her anatomical structures are stretched out and way too long. The crown and the root are both too long. When we did 20 and 30 degrees too steep, our result was in foreshortening, where the tooth looked too small. For our teeth characters, this tooth would have been foreshortening. Notice how he is very small and a lot of things look blunted and short and a little too tubby. And he's sad. This is for correct angulation. Minus the incisal edge cutoff. These are what your x-rays should look like when taking bisecting and taking paralleling. This was our tooth character for correct angulation. Notice how happy he is. He has all the correct dimensions. He's not elongated or foreshortened. And now if he has any little sad holes in him, he can get them filled because they can be seen. Ta-da! So what can I do to be more like you? Well, this is elongation. If you want to be like me, you just have to increase your vertical angulation. But what about me? What do I do? Well, Mr. Foreshortening, you have to decrease your vertical angulation. And you'll be just like me. We'll be just like you. Perfect and happy. Okay. Okay. So how can I change my vertical angulation? So I'm just like you. Well, elongation, all you have to do is increase. Wait, don't. <laughs> okay, but what do I do to change my vertical angulation? All you have to do is point the x-ray tube head down towards the floor to increase your vertical angulation in a positive direction. So all you have to do is point the x-ray tube head down towards the floor more. Before, you were like this. This is why you were elongated. Now, to bring you back to your normal real size, all you have to do is increase your vertical angulation by pointing the PID down towards the floor. Oh, wow. Thank you. What about me? How do I change my vertical angulation? Well, foreshortening, all you have to do is to decrease your vertical angulation by moving the PID and the tube head up and towards the ceiling, away from the floor, as in a verti negative vertical angulation. So this would be the correct vertical angulation. Before, you were like this, way too steep. If you decrease your vertical angulation with the PID and the tube head, you can go back to your normal size just like me. Thank you, normal angulation. I can't wait to change back to normal size. We'll do that right now. Yay! For the paralleling technique, the vertical angle of the central ray is perpendicular to the film and the long axis of the tooth. For bisecting, the vertical angulation is determined by the imaginary bisector. The central ray is going to be perpendicular to the imaginary bisector as opposed to the long axis of the tooth as in paralleling.